429. All right, here we go. Rounders break the huddle with 1326 to play now in the first half. Twins to the near side. Casey Glines is isolated to the far side. Two backs this time for Damian Fleming. Fleming looks to pass, steps up, pulls it down. He's going to run. He's got a lane. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Damian Fleming's going in. Touchdown, fam you. Damian Fleming goes in from 27, 28. Hit and drop. Looking to pass again. Round is out and sacked. Pulls it now. Shoots across the middle. Touchdown, Fairview. Right on the money. And the Rattlers are back. Flushed out of the pocket. Rattlers out of the spot. Can we make the tackle? We do. Fires for the end zone. This one is picked off. That's around the first down. Move those chains. Touchdown, Fairview. Down to the five-yard line. Move those chains. It's a first down for Florida AM. It's fired. It's picked off. The Raptors with 45 seconds left have shut the door. Hello and welcome to the Coach Earl Holmes Show. I'm Keith Myers, your host, along with the head rattler, Coach Earl Holmes, and Coach the Rattlers' journey to Norfolk, Virginia, to get a big Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference win on Norfolk State's homecoming. Well, that's what it was. It was their homecoming. They had a nice crowd, and uh, we fed off the crowd. You know, we wanted to start fast and finish strong, and that's exactly what happened today. You know, last week I felt like we had a chance to get a W, but uh, the PAT kind of hurt us. But this week we wanted to start fast and finish strong, Keith. You put the game in the hands of your playmakers, Damian Fleming and James Owen, and Coach, they came through. Well, that's what it's about. You know, when you find that identity, you find out who you are, and your playmakers making plays, that's what it's about. Uh, we, we know what type of player Damian as well as James Owens are. We just got to find a way to continue to get those guys the ball. Second week in a row, a guy named Brandon Denmark steps up to be the defensive player of the game. He is on a roll. He's playing at a high level. In fact, uh, he's leading the defense. And, uh, He's a very, uh, has a big motor. You know, the guy's running all the time. And uh, when you get guys to feed around that kind of play, I, it's, cont it's contagious, which is a good thing. So uh, Ojo in the front line, I thought all, I think defensively, everybody plays solid. All right, Coach, we're going to come back and take a look at first half highlights after this timeout on the Coach Earl Home Show. Stay with us. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches neck pain, back pain, well call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. Welcome back to the Coach Earl Home Show. Coach, it was a big win. It was homecoming. Uh, as you said at the beginning of the season, we're going to play five homecomings this year, including our own. This was one of them. And uh, we had to, we had to, somebody had to pay because we had to spoil somebody's homecoming. <laughs> you want to play spoiler, you know, and, uh, you know, we ended up falling short on our homecoming. So we just wanted to uh, reciprocate that to uh, Norfolk. But at the same time, they're a good football team. You know, I, I share with the guys, records out the door. Anytime you're playing a med game, anybody can win on any given Saturday. But you got to be on your P's and Q's as far as just playing fast and being strong. Damian Fleming said in our post-game interview that they knew the team was much better than the record was indicating, and they had to dig deep. They had been working hard, and it was time to put a win together. Well, that's what it's about. You know, that shows growth. That shows the maturity of the team. And as long as you continue to put your, your, foot, your best foot forward and keep building blocks, it, it's about building that foundation. All right, let's go. The first half highlight, it's FAMU at Norfolk State, William Dick Price Stadium uh, in Norfolk, Virginia. Coach, we had rain all Friday night, but it cleared up and uh, turned out to be a beautiful day. They won the toss deferred. The Rattlers open up, and this offense is going to take control right away. It was a great day for football. 
you know, and uh, we was in our, our game was in his rhythm, guys catching the ball, our offensive line blocking very well. So we want to start fast again. You know, when you got guys protecting the quarterback, giving Dame some time, he can put it there for us. So uh, Linworth was being Linworth, and uh, the one two combination was there. All right, Linworth, two big catches on this opening drive. And here's the guy, James Owens, coach. Uh, it, I think that ankle must be about 100%. <laughs> it, it feels good to call a 21 name and yeah. dial it up when he's 100%. He can make some things happen, just as well as Dave making some things happen with his feet and can keep the drive going. Yeah, coach, uh, the read option was there uh, today, too, and Damian played off of that. Well, that's what it's about, you know, and, uh, you know, just to build from last week, this week, we got to give Chase a chance. You know, Chase is our guy. He's kind of struggling a little bit, but at the end of the day, he's our guy. We're going to go with him. All right, here we go. This is Michael Etheridge, the big tight end, making a big catch here. Keeping uh, the chains moving. Uh, Kobe Blanton, though, coach. Oh, special team was, was great. They Outstanding. Were great. Uh, the field position was great. The coverage was there. And guys were flying around. It is Devin Roberts coming up big. Michael Decree. Guys game tackling. That's what it's supposed to look like there, kid. Yeah. Kobe had a great day. We'll talk more about him a little later in the show. Here we go. That read option. This is Damian. And, boy, he's moving the chains, folks. And that's what it's about. You know, when Damian can move the ball with his feet as well as his um, arm, we, we, we are two-dimensional. You know, here's a great throw and catch. I thought it was, it was a pass interference here. Pass but I, Casey found a way to get his hands on the ball. We got to find a way to continue to get him that ball. All right, here we go. The jet sweep here. And James, again, turns this into a nice run. Uh, showing that his, his speed, he's a playmaker and you want to have him. Well, when that explosiveness is there, when you can push up on your ankle, that's what you want. But again, here's Damon again, tackling the runner when it's not there, find a way to get an open field, touchdown. touchdown. You know, and, and that's what we want. You know, anytime you can be two dimensional, run the ball as well as you throw the ball, give yourself a be the best chance to win football games. 27 yard score for Damian Fleming. Uh, da uh, Chase adds the extra point. And the Rattlers up top, 7 nothing. Here we go. This is a good return. But the Rattlers defense coach, uh, you know, we knew that Norfolk strength was to run the football. Rolandon Finch, this is a guy, uh, he – He's a grad student coach, but he can run the football, and we knew that he was their go-to guy. And there's a grad student making the tackle there yeah. with our John Ojo. Yeah. But we did a good job. We tried to mix it up with the zone blitz as well as come from the outside and put some pressure on the show some different looks to take away the run as well as make a one-dimensional trying to pass the ball. All right, here we go again. This Damien on the read option, and once again, he can pull that ball out once he knows what that defense is, the defensive end commits, and then again, he gets positive We're going to pull it and take it. We're yeah. going to take what they give us. Right. But, you know, uh, again, Keith, you know, I got to tip my head off the special team. They gave us great field position throughout the game. And we all wish guys was coming through. Here's Ward. Yeah. I keep calling this kid named each and every week. Sean Ward is a guy who a transfer from Texas and m He's catching on to the defense and he's playing at a high level. Yeah, that was a vicious hit. And on this next run by Finch, I think he thought he was going to get hit <laughs> like that because he was tipping through there. Well, that's what you want to put on yeah. film. You know, people have to fear you. You got to put that kind of stuff on film. And when guys turn and run and hitting out to the quarterback, they're throwing the ball prematurely. That's Curtis Alexander, another yeah. true freshman. Yeah. He's in there getting some rep and some experience. But, you know, pressure busted pipe, and uh, we had the blitz coming on up the middle here on a punt block. We ended up getting what we want out to deal with two points. Yeah, here we go. They got to kick it off, and uh, James is going to take the kickoff. And once again, good blocking for him. He gets a great return, and we get good field position. It's good to see James Owens healthy again, Keith. It's good to see that explosion there like I talked about earlier. And uh, we tried to feed him the ball. All right, Damian uh, going downfield here to Linworth. This pass is going to be picked off in the end zone. So it works sort of like a punt. As it we plays took a shot out. just before yeah. the half. We yeah. took a shot just before the half. The good thing about that, though, Coach, we were stretching their defense by going vertical well, that's and, what you and making do. them play that's us what you honest to do. up front. When guys put eight or nine guys in the box to stop the run, you got to take shots deep, make them respect what you got going. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, guys now, here's a kid blunt, not going one for one, winning a two on one. Mm -hmm. And again, when you're stopping the run and guys getting after them, pressuring the quarterback, getting happy feet, like here's a great pick from Terry. You know, Terry's mm -hmm. been there for us the whole year. I thought it should stay in the end zone. I did too. But, <laughs> said that on the air, Coach, but he brought it out to the 31 yard And I'll take it every day of the yeah. week. So uh, Terry's a playmaker for a guy with a, a big future, and uh, he keeps the drive going for us. That's a great momentum for us right there, kid. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, just about the halftime now, and uh, once again, some good run. Omari Alba gave you some good running in there, too. You know, but that was James, but Omari did a good job, too. I think all the running backs did. You know, anytime you've got guys falling forward and you got guys making people miss in space, that's what it's about because sometimes they're going to put eight or nine in the box. If a running back's a good running back, he has to make some people miss every now and then. And it's home, it was homecoming here. So, you know, again, we got the homecoming crowd. Mm -hmm. They're all against this. Quite a few rattlers showed up to, to 
cheer on the Rattler fans. But uh, you could tell that the Rattlers were hungry for a win and they were going to try to close the deal today. We talked about playing for 60 minutes, being making that commitment that we're going to play for 60 minutes, not 49, not 59, but for 60 minutes. And that's what was, it was a hard talk, a tough football game we played today. And, and that's what it's about, finding a way to win the close games. All right, we're going to come back and take a look at second half highlights of FAMU and Norfolk State after this timeout on the Coach Earl Holmes show. Stay with us. Our community is amazing, but we can always make it better. Let's give the children the encouragement and education they deserve. I'm Brian Bowyer, and I care about our community. That's what makes Palmetto Security Services a dedicated company. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. Our community is amazing, but we can always make it better. Let's give the children the encouragement and education they deserve. I'm Brian Bowyer, and I care about our community. That's what makes Palmetto Security Services a dedicated company. Welcome back to the Coach Earl Home Show. Coach, it's uh, the Rattlers on top at halftime, 9-0, uh, and pitching a shutout right now, and I know you were feeling pretty good about what you were seeing, especially on offense today. Well, I thought we started fast, and as far as defense is concerned, I, I talked with the guys about, hey, you know, if Coach Kirkland would be here with us. You know, he wanted this goose egg. Let's get this goose egg for Coach Kirkland, you know, and uh, guys are playing hard. And, and, and again, all three phases were playing hard, and we got out the way, Keith, and I, and I commend the guys for just playing for 60 minutes, but most importantly, we really started fast, and that kind of elevated us along the way. Okay, Norfolk State got it, had a drive going right before the half. We snuffed it out, mm -hmm. uh, fumbled on the one-yard line. We recover it. They're going to start the second half. They get the opening kick, and here we go. Second half highlights. Uh, Chase kicks it off, and Norfolk State's going to come right back, Coach, and put together a whole lot of running. They, they, their passing game was not that great, but they could run the football. Well, they started using unbalanced front. They moved the tackle over to have two tight ends on the same side. They kind of gave us a different look. But overall, when guys falling forward and falling Here's the hitting fumble, people, yeah. and we come up with the ball. You know, that's what it's about, playing for 60 minutes, making the best of each and every play. Here they're on the goal line, we find a way to steer that momentum away from them by uh, recovering this fumble here. Yeah, here we go, uh, Damian. Now, here's the, the play. This is a pass, and it was ruled a fumble and gave them the, their only score of the afternoon. Well, you said it right. They gave them a touchdown, Keith. I, you know, it, it was obvious it was a pass, and uh, I ended up getting 15 yards on that, that play there. But I was just trying to be clear with the officials. Listen, look, guys out here busting their butt trying to get it right. Let's make sure we all get it. Yeah, Dang, uh, that was Linworth with a big pass, and here we come right Omari back to Omari Albert. Omari you know, Albert. Albert came in there, and he, he ran hard for us. Gave uh, Price as well as uh, McBurst and Owens a break. Yeah, here we go. Uh, they're come back run. And the, today, John Ojo, too, coach, came up several times from a safety position to make some big plays. Well, we tried to put eight in the box to stop the run and make him uh, one, one dimensional. But here's a great uh, player, especially yeah, great. with Moe and guys just fighting for great field position. Yeah. It's hard to go eight and 90 yards on our defense. So when you win the field position game, you win some football. And once again, great kick coverage after a good punt by Kobe. And this outstanding defense when here. Turn, when you're looking up, you got nine, 10 guys around the ball. That's what it's about. Here's Brandon Denmark on the sack here again. We want to put pressure on the quarterback you know, to make him throw the ball here. And that's what we did. You know, again, special teams playing well is about field position. All right, done. here we go. Damian hands this one. Now, this is uh, James Owen showing that speed and had a, a loose elusivity coach where as he uh, breaks away from tackles and makes an outstanding run. He's fun to watch. He really is fun to watch. But uh, again, we're down in the uh, green zone. We've got to come up with something. But again, uh, we, we left six points out there, you know, but again, we just got to find a way to find our rhythm. Uh, again, he's all American. He's going to get it right. We're going to get it right. We're going to stick with him. But uh, as long as defense playing well in game, tackling like that with Bobby and Love, Joe, those yeah. guys like that, that's what that's how you play winning football, winning defense. Yeah, we start putting the clamps down on uh, Finch, and who had run the ball, 
uh, for over 100 yards in the first half. But the second half, Bobby Jackson, those guys stepped right up. Well, here we go again. You know, putting pressure on the quarterback. You got to be sending <laughs> yeah. back to Akins. And Akins had a great game. Yes, you know, uh, Akins came up with some sacks here and there, as well as a big-time interception for it to stop their drive. But here's Curtis Alexander again, young guys turning around and running and flying around. And, hey, we got the offense back the ball. So now we're trying to put some points on the board. This is a crucial third down for us with Dwayne Harvey. He is steady, standing in the paint, making plays. Yeah, here we go. Back on defense now. Norfolk State is still trying to hang in there. This is the play Patrick Aiken comes up with the big INT. And, Coach, this was starting to help us seal the deal here. That's what it's about. You want Aiken to hold on to the ball there. But he made a big play for us. And that pretty much sealed the deal. So we want to run a clock here. But at the same time, Fleming pulling it up to that read zone. Mm -hmm. And he was the second lead rusher on the team. Yeah. So when you can beat people again, being two dimensional, running this as well as we can pass it. He was the fourth down and one. We went for it with the flick play with James Owens. And with, with his explosiveness, nobody's going to catch him on the corner. Keep. Well, Coach, you called that one. And when you when Damian flipped it to him, I knew it was a touchdown because <laughs> nobody's going to outrun uh, James Owens. It's not going to happen, Keith. And again, it's good for him to be calling his name, for him to be back. All right, 16-6 uh, to six now in the ball game, and boy, the Rattler defense is not done yet. Uh, big uh, love, Joe. Love, love Michael. Love. Uh, he had an outstanding a game. A great game. In fact, we moved him to the nose and put Frank a little bit at the end again, just to give him a different look, Keith. And um, it worked for us. But uh, guys work hard this week. You know, the preparation what it's all about. And uh, we prepared very well, and we knew that we were going to see different types of quarterback. But it was five, what it was 15, but we passed all three. You saw all three today, too. Mm -hmm. and so as we go to break, we'll take a look at final statistics, and we'll come back to the players of the game and a whole lot more after this timeout on the Coach Earl Home Show. been involved in an accident, you feel like today is going to be a bad day, you have headaches, neck pain, back pain, well call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late. Welcome back to the Coach Earl Home Show. Let's take a look at this week's players of the game 
On offense, Coach, how about your quarterback, Damian Fleming? 10 carries, 74 yards, rushing, one touchdown, 27 long run, 7.4 yards per carry average, rushing. And then James Owens, they split the offensive player of the game. James Owens, 18 carries, 89 yards, one touchdown, 23 his longest one, 4.9 yards per carry average. It was really good to have a workhorse, and those two guys were both the workhorses on offense. Well, they kept the drives going. They kept the defense off the field. You know, when you can keep a defense off the field and keep them fresh, keep guys really getting out the people when they're on the field, it always helps. So that's how you got to compliment. We have to compliment each other. Offense has to compliment defense. Defense has to compliment. On defense, Coach, Brandon Denmark, second week in a row, 10 total tackles, four solo, one sack, one and a half tackles for loss, for one PBU pass breakup, for those who don't know. And uh, he is playing at a high level. A very high level. A very high level. And, and you know, you got to kill on the other side. So when the D-line do what they're supposed to do, it frees up our linebackers in the 3-4 defense. Mm -hmm. You take a guy like Brandon Denmark, who's very explosive and a very smart football player and very aggressive. And, uh, he's getting after it. Uh, we appreciate his effort. Colby Blanton is our special teams player of the game, Coach. And he's kind of understated. But let, let me give you the numbers, and you'll see why. Five points, 226 yards, 45.2 average per punt, uh, 51 long, three inside the 20, and one touchback. Well, the good thing about that, it was only five punts. <laughs> yeah, well, not 11. So, right, so <laughs> when you punt the ball five times and three times inside the, the 20, 20, that's what I'm talking about, field position. Yeah. It's hard to go 90 and 80 yards on a good defense. And so I tip my head off the special teams. They came back, they rebound very well. And again, we all complement each other, offense mm -hmm. and defense as well as special mm -hmm. teams. And that's why I was a team victory. All right, Coach, uh, we're going to go to break, and as we go, we'll take a look at the MEAC scoreboard, scores from around the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, and we'll take also, look, take, also take a look at the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference standings, and we'll come back with a whole lot more after this timeout on the Coach Earl Holmes Show. The College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences evolved from one student in 1951 to more than 1,000 today. It is one of the largest colleges of pharmacy in the country and the nation's top producer of African American pharmacists. The college has expanded its operations from the main campus in Tallahassee to Davie, Jacksonville, Tampa, and most recently Crestview, Florida in 2011. The faculty prepares students for leading roles in the practice of pharmacy, research, and public health. They have developed patents that address the treatment of AIDS, cancer, and many other diseases that disproportionately impact African Americans. This renowned program is the only college of pharmacy that has an Institute of Public Health fully accredited by the Council of Education for Public Health 
It also offers a new master's degree program online and the Master of Pharmacy and Doctor of Pharmacy degrees through its on-campus offerings. I am Dr. Michael Thompson, Dean of the College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, where we believe in academic excellence, research superiority, and community service. Great things are happening to FAMU every day. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. Welcome back to the Coach Earl Home Show. Coach, uh, some heavy hearts as we played this game today. Coach LaVon Kirkland, your defensive coordinator, uh, lost his wife oh, this man. week in a battle for cancer. And in a lot of ways, the defense really played hard today. Uh, they wanted to secure this win for Coach Kirkland. It's about the family deal, Keith. And uh, it was, we lost a family member. Mm -hmm. And uh, all our hearts go out to the Kirkland family. And uh, we all went over there as a coaching staff. and. You know, we Kirkman came and he talked with the kids, and you know, it's tough. You know, it's trying times, but you know, we we know she's in a better place. Mm -hmm. And uh, to Coach Kirkland, I, I commend him on just, you know, when I called him to bring his family down here, mm -hmm. you know, under those situations, under mm -hmm. those circumstances, and he was there for us. And uh, I'm gonna be there for him as well as the team. And you know, we missed him out there today, but at the same time, you know, we know he's taking care of his business, and we'll be there for him, for him always. Yeah, we're happy that we could get a win for mm -hmm. him today. So maybe sort of lighten the burden just a little bit. And that's what about. You yeah. know, you talk about family, you talk about pride, you talk about that rattler nation, that, that rattler love for each other, and uh, he has that, you know, and uh, again, you wish the family nothing but the best, and uh, as we grieve and as we move on, you know, he, he knows that we're there for him, and uh, he can always count on us. All right, Coach, up next for the Rattlers is another homecoming. We go to Orangeburg, South Carolina. Always a tough battle when the Rattlers and the South Carolina State Bulldogs get together, but it's going to be another classic matchup. Well, the uh, one of the powerhouse teams in the conference. You know, I, I talk with the team about everything still ahead of us. Mm -hmm. You know, regardless of how we start, how we start, it's about how we finish. And um, they're a good football team. You know, they're sacking the MEAC, and we're going to see exactly what they bring to the table. You know, I know Bud Pugh very well, and he's going to be up for it, and we're going to be up for it. You know, uh, we fed out the crowd this week. It was a homecoming atmosphere. So we're going over to South Carolina to feed off the same atmosphere and uh, hopefully come out with a W. Okay, the Rattlers and Bulldogs always have some some real battle royals, and it's going to be no less than one again next week. And, of course, we want you to join us so you can see all of the highlights of Family South Carolina State next week right here on the Coach Earl Home Show. We'll see you there. Hit and drop. Woo! Looking to pass again. Round is out and sacked. Pulls it now, shoots across the middle, touchdown fam you! Right on the money, and the Rattlers are back! Flushed out of the pocket, Rattlers have a spot, can we make the tackle? We do! Fires toward the end zone, this one is picked off. That's around the first down, move those chains! Touchdown fam you! Down to the five yard line, move those chains, it's a first down for Florida a and it's picked off. The Raptors with 45 seconds left have shut.